The president will give his second to last State of the Union speech to an audience that is much different than in years past. Eyewitness News reporter Jacqueline Fell talked one on one with local lawmakers who will be there for the speech tonight. Jackie? Erica, in just a few hours, the president's limo, the beast, will roll down Pennsylvania Avenue and pull into the U.S. Capitol. We're only two weeks into this new Congress, and already lawmakers are finding themselves in the middle of some pretty high stake debates. North Carolina Congresswoman Virginia Fox says the president can talk the talk, but he's yet to walk the walk when it comes to compromise in Washington. He says he wants to work with Congress, but to him that means Congress does what he wants done. For the first time in Barack Obama's presidency, his State of the Union will be in front of a Republican-led Congress. He will highlight the economy, saying it's in its best shape since before the recession, with 11 million jobs created. In a White House video preview of the speech, Obama says he'll focus on the poor and middle class. How do we make sure that they're sharing in this growing economy? How do we make sure that they have the tools to succeed? He's already flexed executive action muscle, lowering the interest rate on federally backed mortgages, boosting and internet, and providing paid sick leave to federal workers. Tonight, the president will tout his health care law, propose raising taxes on wealthy Americans, and expand his plan for free community college. Fox says the president has a bad habit of creating new programs without figuring out how to pay for them. Now, Republicans see their new power as a way and a mandate to keep the president's policies in check. Now, coming up in an hour, we're going to check in with North Carolina's newest Senator Tom Tillis. He talks to us about getting people in North Carolina back to work. Reporting live in Washington, Jacqueline Fell, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.